Hey guys, today we're going to be drawing some realistic hair. I'm using the iPad Pro with the Apple Pencil and the Procreate app. If you're new to Procreate, I also have a video called 25 Procreate Tips and Tricks, which I suggest to watch first because as I draw, I'll be using these shortcut actions. I will link that video below. So grab your favorite tea or coffee and let's start drawing. So I'm going to link the brushes below because you will need these brushes if you want to follow along with this tutorial. So we're going to start with layer one and we can start off with a brunette. And I've also got a hair color palette right here, which I will also link below. So this is a free download and you can import it into your color palette. So let's start off with a base color. We're going to pick this first color right here. And then I'm just going to grab an airbrush and we're just setting the base for the hair. And this is just a back of a head. And then I'm going to grab the blending brush just to blend it a little bit. And we don't want to blend up here too much because we're going to be putting some strands of hair. All right, next we're going to grab a lighter shade. So maybe the second one right here. And then we're going to go into the hairbrush. And I'm just going to be experimenting. I'm just going to select maybe the strand thin lots. And we're literally just putting just long strokes. We can also switch up this brush. I'm going to try the soft flow. And again, if you're using an Apple Pencil, there is pressure sensitivity. So I'm gonna continue experimenting with some different brushes and then you can see the effects. Now we don't want it to look like a blurry mess around the edges, so now we can add some hair to the bottom. And I'm just using that same base color. And you can also do some sweeping motions. And then I'm also gonna add some to the side. So I'm going to start to create some more layers. So every time I change the color, I'm going to create a new layer. And with every new layer that I create, the color is going to get lighter and lighter. So we're going to select just a lighter shade, maybe this one up here, the fifth one. And I'm going to select a different one, maybe the soft flow. And that one's just a little bit too thin. So let me try this one. And again, when you're looking at hair, the base of anyone's head is usually darker, um, unless they just got a root touch up or they just dyed their hair. But usually you're gonna see more dark near the roots and that's what makes it look realistic. All right, so I'm gonna start another layer and this time I'm gonna go a little bit lighter And then now you can see some highlights pick up here. All right, I'm gonna start another layer and go even lighter. 
And this time I'm gonna select just a lock. And now you can see the highlights are really gonna pick up. These are basically just strands of hair. And I'm applying very little pressure. And now I'm gonna go back to that base and just select that dark color again. And I'm gonna use the same lock brush just to make it look a little bit more defined on the sides and at the top. I might even just change out this brush. And maybe this person has a little bit of flyaways. Just makes it look a little bit more realistic. Okay, I'm gonna go back up to that top layer and grab just one of those lighter shades again. And then put a little bit more highlights. All right, let's create one more layer. And this time we're gonna go really light. Maybe this one here, let's see how that looks. I'm gonna put some highlights near the top. And I'm going very light with the pressure because you don't wanna overdo it. If you want to really make a highlight, you just got to push down on the pen. And I really like this haircut. Now let's see if we add one more layer and we're going to go to this really light color there and see how that looks. And I'm not going overboard with this. Just going to put a couple of highlights All right guys, how cool does that look? Now let's say I don't want this color and I want more of a black. Let's group all of these layers together. So let's drag it to the right and I'm gonna hit group. And then we can rename this to, I don't know, maybe a light brown. So let's say I wanna change up the color. I'm gonna duplicate this whole group. And let's uncheck this one down here. Let's say I wanna rename that to black or someone with really, really dark hair. So all we're gonna do is uncheck everything but the base. And then we're gonna alpha lock all of the layers. So click on the layer, hit alpha lock. And basically what that does is it isolates everything that you've drawn on that layer. So if you want to change out the color, you can without it affecting anything else. So we're on the base layer here. I'm going to select a black. So let's just make sure all our values are at zero. And then I'm going to go with my airbrush this time. So as you can see with the alpha lock on, it's only coloring what I've already colored. Next, we're gonna go enable the second one. And this time I'm gonna go to the disc and I'm just gonna select a lighter shade of black. Maybe even a bit lighter. Okay, enable the next one. We're gonna do the same thing. We're basically kind of muting all the colors. Enable the next layer, a little bit lighter. 
and again enable this layer go a bit lighter and then the same thing with the last layer So that's a simple way to change out the color. And you can change this to any color you want, really. All right, let's say we wanted to do a red. I'm just gonna duplicate my initial one again. And let's just bring this up to the top. And let's rename that to red. Or I guess a strawberry blonde. So let's enable alpha lock on all of this again. So with the base, we're gonna select like a dark red base. And then we're gonna go up again. So here's our red, although I do kind of want to mute it a little bit. Um, so another way you can also change the color is just merge that entire layer. So it's one layer. Then you can go to your adjustments tool and then go to hue, saturation, brightness. You can play with the saturation a little bit. And then if you want to change it, you can change it to whatever you want, whatever color. You can do some cosplay hair, it's pretty cool. You can also go into color balance. If you want to add more red or more magenta or more yellow, there's lots of options. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial of creating realistic hair. For more drawing tutorials and gadget reviews, be sure to subscribe to Draw With Marina.